So welcome indeed to Flaming Geyser State Park. So as you can see on the map between Seattle and Tacoma, and it is going east towards the mountains here. Uh, this is right off of Highway 18, but this is Flaming Geyser State Park. So welcome, welcome, Mom and Dad Meet World. We are here, and uh, this was a Monday that we had decided to go. It was a free National and State Parks Day, so we thought we would get out of the house, and it was actually very, very clear. It was not raining, which uh, it's few and far between up here in the winter time for Washington State. So we thought we'd get out and explore Flaming Geyser State Park. Hopefully you enjoy this video. So we are out here at Flaming Geyser State Park out in Washington State. And so even though it's called Flaming Geyser State Park, we're actually not going towards the geysers at all because it was very, very muddy. We're actually going to explore the river area, and then we're going to go explore a little bit of the airfield. Yes, I said that right, airfield. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful state park here. Beautiful, beautiful day. And a beautiful day where it's not actually pouring down rain, but we've actually got beautiful blue sky. Again, just using this one-handed. Walk down here to the river. It's running pretty high, it's the middle of January. Where'd we stay aggro, isn't it? Out here looking at the river. It is running a little bit high, but we are towards mid January. It'll actually run higher in spring, another month or two in the spring when the melt comes down from the mountain. Let's get back. We just sat here on this beautiful sunny day, uh, taking a walk slash walking hike through Flaming Geyser State Park, out here at the edge of King County, Washington. Uh, blue skies, probably 55 degrees, no wind, absolutely gorgeous January day. And uh, minimal people at the park on a Monday, which is nice. Um, so we're just gonna take a walk, show you some views of the river, some of the different trees and hiking trails, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy and get out of the house a little bit today with us. So one of the things I love about this state park, I actually grew up here coming for barbecues and birthdays um, as a young child, um, is that it hasn't changed much in the last 25 years. What I mean that is that it's pretty undisturbed from the natural resources the river runs through. The walking paths are, are pretty well kept. The benches and the picnic tables and fire pits look older, but they're all well, well able to be used. And there's a lot of acreage here. Um, you can get out of this park and do everything from hiking day hiking, um, to barbecues and birthday parties. They have a kids play area uh, that's at the other end of the park from where we're at right now. There's some fishing you can do. Obviously you gotta have a fishing license um, and know the, know the river regulations. Um, there is a, at the other far end of the park, which we may hike down to, um, a little drone area where you can fly your aircraft in a big field. So there's just a lot of different opportunities out here to get out, be a part of nature, but yet, um, have fun for the day. Some pretty rough terrain down here. Getting down here a bit on the hiking path. Look at this. Okay. We're looking. Absolutely gorgeous. There was another photographer out there in front of us, and he mentioned that there's a bald eagle out here somewhere that we're trying to get a shot of. Um, so we're just going to go around this tree right here and go up this trail and uh, hopefully get to spot some wildlife. So 
So you are literally just taking a walk with us as we are walking parallel to the river. Uh, this part here is going from around the main part of the park down towards the entrance of the park where you will see a little bit more, a uh, little bit different set of trails down towards the park, less river. And there is actually another type of trail that takes you in towards uh, the woods. Uh, we will not go on that trail. Right now, this was mainly just the river walk here. But uh, yeah, there's all sorts of different trails here. But uh, yeah, as we are making our way down towards the, uh, the RC airfield. Take a little pause here. Another view of the river. It's gorgeous. If we can, we'll stop talking and stand here for a second so you can just listen to the water run. Take a look at this. This tree right here, uprooted. Go around it a little bit. Give you a little bit of an idea how big this root system is. I'll stand in front of it. But yeah. So right now, we're still doing the one-handed jaunt here. I've got the camera low as we are trying not to fall. We really are coming on a hike with us, folks. So we just came from out there along the riverfront walk here. Just giving you another little view of the park right here. Tons of picnic tables. And it's just absolutely beautiful out here. So this main road is about Probably a half a mile long. The speed limit in the park is like 15 miles an hour. It's very slow. Most people actually uh, keep to a slower speed limit. We ran into a nice lady with some gorgeous dogs out here on a leash and we were asking her how she likes the park. And she said one of the things that she loves about the park is that she can bring her dogs here on a leash and everybody else at this park also leashes their dogs. Not just because it's state law and you're in a state park but it's a kind of a respectful thing out here, which I didn't know because I'm not a pet owner. So for those of you who have dogs and you're looking for a place to take your dogs and feel like you can be out in a big, vast area safely, this is one of those places. We're gonna walk this way across this street right here. I'm gonna have the this point over here up in this hillside where there's a bunch of more hiking trails that are off the river. So if you don't like walking along a riverside trail, there's also a bunch of hiking and walking inland up in there, which we're probably going to explore that as well. So just a little FYI, as we are walking here towards some very hilly terrain here, there are bathrooms towards the very beginning of the park and there are bathrooms towards the main parking area. So just FYI, yes, they are open for winter too. So here we are just inside of the river area where we are a little bit more hilly terrain here. Across the street from the river inland where there's the mountainside and some grass. Just a beautiful area to be able to run around. You can come fly kites out here. There's a big open field where there's no trees. So as wooded as this park is, you could absolutely come take your, your kids out here like heights and that's kind of cool because besides going to the to the beach there's not a lot of areas you can do that in Washington. Oh you can see back there they are flying their airplanes which we are going to walk to. 
see multiple airplanes out there flying. One of them's red winged and tipped. One of them's white. You see them land and take off. There's the underside of that one, it's white. I do believe you have to have some kind of a uh, operator's license to handle. So if we pause here and we look left, you'll notice it's very wet. There's some underground streams that create kind of a watershed out here. Um, so on one side of us it's dry, nice clear wall hiking path. And on the other side of us there's a significant amount of water. As we're coming down on our left, you can see there is yet another hiking trail taking you deeper into the woods down here. There really are a lot scattered all throughout this park. Basically, if you're looking for a day of exploring, getting a little bit of exercise, just overall having a good time, this is a good place to do it without having to drive miles and miles to get out of town. So as we descended upon the path right here, we come upon the RC airfield. So this RC airfield, as you are coming into the park, the park entrance is actually to the left of what you're seeing here. And as soon as you get here, you see the airfield. Now, depending on when you come, there may be nobody here, and this just may be a very uh, blank, calm field, or you can go as you as we did today and you can see that there are quite a few people here and quite a few airplanes as uh well let's just see so yeah these airplanes were just absolutely fascinating to watch all different types of planes um, as you'll see here in a bit but um yeah, you could have just stayed here for hours upon hours watching plane after plane, uh, watching different operator after different operator just maneuver these. Um, they they look they look small from afar, but they're actually quite nicely sized. And um, as I said, we probably stayed here for a good hour or so just watching these different types of planes. And uh, there's much more to this park. Um, we will explore a little bit behind the airfield, but uh, that area behind the airfield uh, runs along the Green River some more. But uh, this was just absolutely fascinating, and uh, let's get a closer look. So basically, if you do not have any interest in RC airplanes or wanting to watch any of these airplanes, uh, fly around then you'll want to fast forward about five minutes because uh, we do spend a little bit of time getting a little bit closer to uh, some of these airplanes so look over here we've got some nice spectator benches right along here which where that is where we are going to sit and watch some of these beautiful aircraft fly
Starting the recording as these airplanes are pretty dang awesome. We got three of them up right now. Here we are taking another way back towards where we had parked, taking this trail around this airfield. It's very far and few between, but yet you're not completely deserted and alone. So as you can see, as we are walking away from the RC park area uh, along the river here, this is actually a very, very large park and it's very vast, as you can see. The room is on our left now, instead of on our right. As we walk back, we're kind of taking a, like a reverse C coming to the airfield. And uh, as you can see in here, it's a fast running river. It's actually the Green River. In case you're wondering what river that is. I say we go left and then right. So we took that split in the road or that trail and here we are. We are literally paralleling the Green River next to us right here. In this slightly muddy path, but it's not too bad. Dennis is in sneakers, and he still able to hike this without slipping and falling. So I'm in hiking boots. Then you know, made out of Gore-Tex and waterproof. So I'm not sure of any of the challenges that come with a muddy hiking trail. Hold on, I'm going to pause right here. I'm going to look left here. So this is a river. It is moving very, very fast. So we'll pause right here. I'll have Dennis zoom right out here. You see there's a little bit of a sandbar out here. It's pretty small right now. But throughout the summer, when the water level drops out here, up and down this river, there's a lot of little sandbars that you can hike out to and just spend your day swimming and hanging out on the sandbar. And uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Actually, it's an easy trail to walk down to, so we're gonna show you firsthand without having to do any weird So it's kind of hard to see with the low light, but you can see it in person. The water is very green right here. Uh, it's part of the reason why it is called the Green River. But it is also an indication of the depth and the current in this river. 
Uh, I grew up swimming this river and it is definitely a little deep and a little fast. The, the darker green the water is, typically the deeper it is. If you Dennis scrolls across this over here, you'll see there's actually a rope swing that someone made across the street over here or across the river over here. Um, that I'm sure during the summertime when this river drops about 10 feet, uh, yes, 10 feet, that they probably swim across and go out there and go rope swinging. Not that I've ever done that. It's up around that black bear bush. Looks like some parents forgot their little kids' flip flops on the tree there. Not uncommon to see out here at the park. But you get a good view of how deep and wide this river is at different places. Some wildlife across the river right there, straight across from us eating something. A little itty bitty waterfall of a stream coming down and running into the river, add to the current and the flow across from us. Another view of that rope swing. Lots of ins and outs. This one's going to climb some tree roots. Looks a little bit like a, uh, a goat trail coming up. And then you're right back up here on the that it popped us out right right about I'd say 100 to 200 yards from where we cut in along the river right to the back side of this field where those airplanes are launching from and we're going to continue to walk along the riverfront until we run into the road it'll lead us back to another trail along the riverfront isn't that gorgeous like where in the world do you see that you see how big that was <laughs> that was He's coming back. Look, he's coming back. I hope you got the camera open. But... I do. Hey, so we are just going to leave you as we are watching a bald eagle or two. Uh, but thank you for sticking with us this far. And uh, yeah, if you liked what you saw, found it somewhat helpful, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps us out. But uh, yeah, we're just going to leave you with... Uh, watching this very, very large bald eagle fly around.